In this video, we're going to be removing dates from a permalink structure in WordPress. I'm going to show you how to do this for any WordPress site using plugins, and I'm also going to show you a specific workaround for ShowIt if you are on the simple blog or tier two package with ShowIt because it's a little bit more complicated if you can't access certain files or you can't add certain plugins. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this by going to the WordPress dashboard. And then we are going to go to settings and then permalinks. And that's gonna show us our current permalink structure. And Yoast, if you have Yoast installed, it's gonna give you this warning that you should never change this on a live site. And this is a very good piece of advice in general. Don't change these on a whim just because you want to. You should have a reason to change these or um, you know, it, it could be something that you need to change relatively early on, or if you know that you really just want to change these and you know the potential consequences, this is totally fine. So we're removing dates because we don't want the dates in the posts and um, it was set that way without the preferences being uh, stated by the person whose website this is. So anyway, when when you when you're on show it, when you move into show it, when they migrate your post, often it will revert to uh, month and name or day and name instead of post name, even if you had post name before. The problem with actually changing these is that even when we get the redirects right. Okay, so, so backing up for a second, if you just change this, like this would be a simple video. If all you had to do was come in here, go for month and name, click post name, save changes, you're done. The permalinks will be changed. It's really that simple. But the problem is any of your posts where the date was in that URL before that are currently indexed on Google or who are currently, if you're linking from uh, social media or anywhere else where there's a direct link, like let's say we do a site colon in front of this to see if it's indexed in Google. Okay, so see in Google it's indexed with that URL. Now if we change the permalink, whenever we click this from Google, we're gonna get a 404 page not found. Whenever we click that URL from anywhere else, we're gonna get a 404 page not found. The new post will exist and I mean the new URL will exist and, and be accessible and hopefully Google will automatically figure that out. But without a redirect in many cases, Google will take a while to figure out what's going on. And so we wanna use redirects for Google to understand that the page has changed to a, a new URL, and also for visitors who might be coming from other traffic sources to land on the correct page whenever they type in the old URL or click a link from the old URL. So redirects are important here, but you don't wanna to have to set up a redirect for every single URL that could take hours and hours and hours, depending on how many blog posts, it could be completely unfeasible. Thankfully, there are ways around that. I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, but anyway, uh, even if you get the redirects right, understand that there is, there's a chance that whenever you change a URL that's already indexed in Google, that the ranking will change. It could be a positive change or it could be a negative change. Typically, we don't see huge swings as long as redirects are set up it's generally perfectly fine. However, for the first day or few weeks, you may see that it goes up or down a few positions because Google does have to de-index the old URL and re-index with the new URL. And sometimes they may run a re-check or they may, they may look at that page again based on new factors or new algorithms that maybe it hasn't been processed through before. And sometimes that can cause a change in ranking. So. Don't worry about it too much, but just understand that that is a possibility here. Uh, okay, now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use a, a tool, a web tool for from Yoast. It's called the Permalink Helper. So if you just Google search Yoast Permalink Helper, you should find this. It's yoast.com slash research slash permalink dash helper dot PHP. I bookmarked this because I use it all the time. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the URL exactly as it appears in the canonical URL, in this case, HTTPS colon slash slash uh, vincentimages.com with the backslash at the end, just like that. And then it's gonna ask, is your WordPress running in a subfolder, for instance, slash blog, add it here. In 95% of cases, the answer is gonna be no, and you're just gonna leave that blank. Uh, if you're on show it, like we are in this example, the answer should always be no, you leave that blank. 
if you do have it installed in a subfolder, you should probably know that. And in your permalink structure, you should be seeing slash uh, that like it would be blog slash in that example, uh, at least in some cases. It depends on how it's set up. It can get a little complex. For the most part, if you don't uh, know that you're in a subfolder, you're probably not, and you'll probably be okay here. So just leave that blank. We can leave this set to Apache in this case. If you know that your web server is something different, uh, you can change this to Nginx, but for show it, we're going to leave this on Apache. And then we want to pick our old permalink structure. That's what we're on currently. So month and name is what we're on now. We're going to check that, and then we're just going to click Generate Redirect. That's very simple. And then it's going to give us this, this little inside this little box right here. We're going to copy all of that. Now, if you're using Yoast and you uh, have the ability to access the tools section of Yoast, then we're going to use the htx. We're going to use that to edit the htaccess file. So we would go here and we go under tools. Or I'm sorry, we go to Yoast and go to tools. And then under here, we're going to have file editor. Click that. And then we'll have the HT access file here. Now, again, if you are on show it tier two or the simple blog, let's see, what is it called? Basic blog package. You will not be able to access this section. You cannot get into the HT access. Um, now, in this case, this really shouldn't have both of these, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. I'm just going to come here. We're going to go at the very beginning, put some space there. We're going to paste in what we got from over here on that tool. Now, again, with Yoast, where you can get to the tool section, this is the easiest way to do it. Now, before I save that, I'm gonna go ahead and go back here. Uh, let's even open a blog post just so we'll have something to reference to make sure this is working. All right, and we're gonna go here to post name, click save. And then if we were to refresh right now, it's going to give us a 404 page not found. Now, in this case, it still shows up. But if I click this, well, now it goes to the new URL. I'm sorry. But anyway, this particular template theme doesn't have a 404 um, template set up, but it is a page not found. It's not finding that URL right here. It's giving us an archive feed instead. Okay, so what we want to do is go ahead and go back in here and click Save. Make sure you're careful because getting the wrong thing in HT Access can crash your site. But as long as you copy and paste that exactly and don't mess with anything else, you should be fine. Now we're going to go back here and we're going to try it again. So let's refresh that. And look at that. It redirected over to the new URL. Now that took care of that across the board and the entire site. All of the posts are now, uh, they don't have the date in the URL. And they have a redirect from that date-based URL over to uh, the new URL without, or the new permalink setting without the date. All right, so let me show you the workaround. If you do not have uh, the ability to access the tools section on Yoast, again, if you're on tier two on show it, you will not have that ability. However, now this one, this site is on tier three on show it, so we can kind of add whatever plugins we want. But if you're on tier two, they'll have a list of plugins that are pre-installed. And in this case, the one you're going to look for is redirection. Now you may need to activate it in your case uh, if it's not already activated. And once you activate that, you can go to settings or you can go to tools redirection. And in this case, it's a little bit complicated, but really not that hard. Just follow along carefully. We would click add new. And I'm going to show you this without clicking save because when if I click save, I've got it doubled and it would probably cause a loop or may break something. Uh, okay, then we want to go over here where it says URL options regex, and we want to click that regex button. And then we're going to go back to this. We're going to do that same process I did before here to get this. But now we're going to copy a little bit different uh, section of this. It's a little hard to tell where the spaces are, but I'm going to show you. You're going to, um, you're going to not copy the redirect match 301 part, you're going to start here and you're going to copy just that section through right there before it starts the HTTPS. So it, it should start with uh, the up caret. I can't remember what that character is actually called and end with a, a dollar sign. We're going to copy that and that part is going to go into the source URL 
And then we're going to go back here again and copy this. And that is going to go into the target URL. Basically, this is uh, looking for all kinds of variables. It's a, it's a regex formula that matches all dates. Uh, and then this is saving uh, a variable and then inserting that back in over here. Um, and that's that's going to work just fine. So if you click save on that, uh, it would work the exact same way. Uh, let's even just test it one time, just for the heck of it. All right, so we're going to take that out. I go here, save that. Okay, and then we're going to add it in here. And let's go ahead and let's just do this to click on the old URL and see it still redirects. So that's how you would do it if you don't have the access to the Yoast settings. We're going to go ahead and delete that. Now if we do that, we need to go back in here and add it in again. We'll save it here. That's the simplest place to save it. If you didn't have access to any plugins or you're not using Yoast and you do have FTP access, you could also just edit the HT access file uh, via FTP and re-upload that way and insert that same piece of code just like we did here. Hopefully that is helpful in setting up your permalinks the way that you want them and also doing redirects. Um, yep, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to help you.